Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashersnet here, and I am here with a set of Burger King statuettes of Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, back in the old days, you used to be able to get like a, these statuettes or a, a VHS tape of an episode of Dragon Ball Z with your kids meal order, and I think this is the complete set. It features, of course, starting on the left here, Piccolo, uh, Goku in his normal form, Gohan with his bowl cut, uh, Krillin, Vegeta, uh, in his normal form, of course, because he doesn't hit Super Saiyan in this saga, uh, Frieza in his final form, although not his 100% form, and then, of course, Goku as a Super Saiyan. These statuettes are pretty much very limited in articulation, so let's start with Piccolo here. Um, he doesn't really have anything else going on, uh, other than I had to put this back on him, his cape comes off. Uh, he, just the detail is nice. Um, it wouldn't do well as an action figure, though my little brother did try. They had this weird, like, rusting effect on them. I don't know if it's, like, the, the paint that was used or whatever. But Piccolo looks really good and real angry. And, of course, we'll put him back over here. And, um, we'll take a look at Gohan here with his bowl cut. Uh, of course, this is, uh, the cut he got, uh, from Chi-Chi before he left for Namek with Krillin and Bulma. And, uh... Yeah, straight up. He's angry. He's seen some things. <laughs> Not much there going on. Here is Goku in his base form. So, of course, uh, his gi on, nothing torn up. Uh, also experiencing a little bit of that rust going on. You know, and the thing is, these are plastic with, like, um, metallic-ish paint on it. It makes it look like foil drawings. But I think the gimmick was they're supposed to look like the comic book, uh, I guess. Um, anyway, so here is Goku as a Super Saiyan, golden form. See, this is the only one that doesn't experience that rust thing that the other ones do. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there is metal in the paint in, in, of those. It's just a little bit of oxidization, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Here. Here is Krillin, uh, providing support, or very little actual help. I don't, um... But, uh, got, uh, Master Roshi symbol on his back. And, uh, yeah, very, very nice. Got his, uh, Shaolin markings on his head. Everybody seemed very angry in this series. Uh, here is Vegeta in his, uh, second version Saiyan armor. Very nice. Um, the waist on some of them actually does move, but, like, nothing else does. And I think, feel like the waist is only there because that's where they connected them together. From whatever mold they made them from. So, yeah, basically. And then finally we have uh, Frieza. And uh, Frieza, the tail actually does move independently uh, as well as the waist. But, I mean, like, an exception, I guess. But uh, Frieza's noggin is way better than the modern art style. Because you can tell uh, this is from back in the original. Because they updated the animation in Z... Um, after the Frieza saga, and then uh, during the, you know the Andrew saga, and then they updated it again during the Boo saga. So, but uh, yeah, Frieza, nice long tail, very well bent. It doesn't articulate separately from the joint in the back. But uh, yeah, then and that is it. These things from Burger King. I don't even remember how much they were. I think they were like a dollar, dollar ninety nine each or something. I just remember you had to get the kids meal to get them free with it. But uh, just just a nice bit of collectibles to have on a shelf somewhere. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.